We started at number 10 and we are counting down to the top 10 relationship roadblocks. These are the things that are getting in our way from the intimacy, the connection, the belonging that we want. So go back and watch the whole series and see which ones are landing for you because there's so much opportunity for ahas and for growth and for doing things differently. Right now, we're talking about number four. The fourth big obstacle or roadblock or barrier, the thing that's blocking us from the connection we say we want is our past hurts. Oof. You know what? We do not get to the age we are without having been disappointed. Uh, I opened my book, Frentimacy, with the quote that says, none of us want to be in relationship with anyone who disappoints us, and yet there are no other kind. Oh, so depressing and yet kind of liberating. The truth of the matter is we're human. We are going to disappoint each other. Even the people we love the most have disappointed us. The people we feel the safest with have disappointed us and hurt us. We've been hurt, we've been angry. We have been really, really sad with them at different times, absolutely. And yet trust was built by going through those times, not avoiding those times. And so every single one of us has been hurt. But we can't use that as an excuse to say, I just can't trust anymore. I hear too many of us saying like, I can't trust again, or I'm too scared to trust. And we put trust on other people, like it's their job to prove they're trustworthy. And yes, they are on some level by being showing up and, and being people that we can practice our vulnerability with incrementally. But learning how to trust again is our job. We have to also be open and willing to see people as trustworthy, of letting ourselves practice and assuming that we can trust more people than we do. Being hurt in the past, I use the metaphor often of it's like spraining your ankle or breaking an ankle. It happens. It happens even if you're super duper careful. It can happen just walking or going down the steps and it doesn't mean you should never walk or go down steps again. An injury happens so often and you sometimes we have to stay off of it for a little while or even put a cast on it or even have a surgery. And yet that doesn't mean that we should never use our ankle again. We know that the entire goal of the rehab and the, and the surgery and all the different things we do, icing it, all of it, we know that the entire reason we're doing that is to get back on our ankle as soon as we can. The goal is to heal our bodies and use the body parts again. And yet so many of us with our hearts think that if I've been hurt, I just need to keep it in a cast forever and that that's the safe way. But like every other body part, it's meant to be hurt and it's meant to be healed and it's meant to be used again. And so you learning how to build trust is not somebody else's job to do for you. It's your job to start asking the hard questions, to do the therapy, to do the reflection, to ask for the awareness and to do whatever you can to start healing. And maybe you have actually already healed and it's a matter of just taking the cast off and slowly using it again. We would never encourage somebody out of out of an injury to just go back and use it at full speed. Think about if you were healing your body, you would start out slowly and maybe with a professional and somebody who's helping you do the right exercises to strengthen all the other muscles and, and to start learning the difference between is this pain that's hurting me or is this pain that's healing me? And there's a difference. We know the difference in our bodies where we can say this is a pain that's like, like nobody has ever gone to rehab and said that didn't hurt. <laughs> it hurts. And yet we know that we're doing it to strengthen something. And so we can't let our pain and our fear be the litmus, but we have to figure out how to hear and listen and start finding a better way of learning how we can practice trusting again. Because if you have a hard time trusting, you have a valid reason, I'm sure. All of us do. If you have a hard time trusting though, you are never going to have the intimacy and the connection and the depth and the support that you deserve. You have to learn how to like open the heart again let people in. You have to choose to want to be somebody who trusts others. This is a big one, but you have to say, rather than putting it on everybody else, what do I need to do to start practicing being somebody who trusts?